Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about how to hit harder. How to hit harder forehands, how to hit harder backhands, how to hit harder serves. And to do that, I want to explain what ground reaction force is and how you can use it in your game to become a more powerful tennis player. Now, when we're watching the players on hard courts, uh, like the Australian Open or the US Open, there's a very distinctive sound that you hear when they're moving. You hear squeak, squeak, squeak of the shoes on the uh, surface, and then silence, and then hit. Squeak, squeak, squeak again, and then silence, and then hit. So what's happening in that silent period? And the answer is they're using ground reaction force. Ground reaction force is the energy that's available every time we take a step, whether it's a walking step, a running step, or something in between. I'm now going to give you an example of ground reaction force in a very extreme way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in the air and I'm going to land, but I'm going to land on both feet at the same time with my feet dead square. I'm not going to absorb the impact with my toes or my ankles or my knees. I'm just going to land like a pile driver. And to do this, I have to concentrate very hard because I've been trying not to do it every single day of my life since I was about one or two years older, whenever I learned to walk. So I'm going to jump and land. And you could maybe see the judder that went through my head from the ground, through my body, through my head and out through my hair. If I do that five or six times, I'll have a headache all day. When babies learn to walk uh, very early on in that process, they cry a lot because they're getting headaches and then they learn to nullify ground reaction force. But you don't need to nullify it. You can use it. Now, a few weeks ago, I was teaching a beautiful young lady tennis and she had a stunning uh, athletic body and she was probably about uh, 50 kilograms, so about 110 pounds. So I stopped and looked at her and I said, uh, how much do you weigh? She was about to tell me and then I said, let me guess, um, 120 kilograms, 240 pounds. She said, what? Are you crazy? I said, no, you don't, but you could. You see, if there was a weighing scale on the floor here, on the ground, and I gently climb on the weighing scale, then you'll be your 50 kilograms, your 110 pounds. But if instead of stepping gingerly and carefully onto the weighing scales, you actually jump onto the weighing scales, then for a fraction of a second, you'll be a heavyweight. You'll be 200, 250 pounds with all that energy. Now, when we're playing tennis, what a lot of people do is carefully place their feet onto the surface of the court in the serve. They just bend a little and place their feet onto the surface of the court. But if you feel that you're driving your foot, not jumping into it, like my example with the scales, but if you feel that you're pushing into the ground, then when you swing and make the stroke, that energy that you've gathered pushing into the ground, loading down, will help to generate much more power in the strokes. In the service, instead of just raising the heels and bending the knees, if you consciously think about driving your weight into the surface of the court, you'll feel the difference. And the difference is real because you've just built up an enormous amount of ground reaction force. And that's what happens when the pros are moving. You'll hear the squeak, squeak, squeak of the adjustment of their feet and then they'll push into the ground and then push out of the ground and that recoil, that force, will make them hit faster and harder but they won't make any more errors because they're not swinging faster. They just have more energy in the stroke right from the beginning. So use ground reaction force in your game. Find that silence before you hit. I'd love to know how this works for your game or the players that you work with. You know I love your feedback and I try to reply to every single comment. And if you like these ideas, then have a look at our books on Amazon. We have a detailed biomechanical breakdown of the strokes, including the physics and the anatomy of the movements, and then super simple solutions with great illustrations, helping you to reach the next level. And maybe I can help you more with your game with online coaching. We're helping players in over 30 countries all over the world, all ages and all levels, with a unique blend of video analysis and then one-to-one -one personalized information. It's a truly unique service and it really works. For more information, have a look at the website or email us for details. So use ground reaction force in your game. Get that rebound from the court. Find the silence before you hit and you'll have more powerful serves, more powerful forehands and more powerful backhands. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.